Joining me now is Ahmed Rehab. He's the executive director of CARE Chicago office. You heard Mike, uh, it's a clear issue of dollars and cents without even a mention of Islamophobia from anyone in charge. Ahmed, do you agree it's a money issue in Chicago? I agree 100 percent. And you can include in the voices that are not screaming Islamophobia those Muslim leaders who are involved in the negotiations. They're not uh, they're not accusing anybody of Islamophobia here. This is, a, this is strictly a negotiation over being able to, to get zoned to be able to build this. Well, uh, well let, me, let me take it then to, to the New York. We'll go back to Chicago, yeah. but in, in New York here, the Ground Zero Mosque, the Burlington Coat Factory paid about $197,000 a year in taxes. We pulled the tax records. If you were to put a for-profit building on that site, a $100 million for-profit building, it would generate somewhere around $4.5 million in taxes. Yet we're not allowed i think if i'm if i'm reading everything correctly we're not allowed to discriminate on religion even if it is a money issue why is it allowed in chicago well i think the two situations are absolutely not comparable um, the situation in chicago happens every single day in all different parts of america whether it's a, a small mosque or a small church or whatever else the situation in new york is a question of somebody owning property they're zoned they are permitted and allowed based on all law laws and regulations of new york city to build a house of worship there um, what it is is actually a, an islamic cultural center that includes uh, a prayer area and the problem is in the backlash that is being instigated by certain organizations uh, astro turf organizations that claim to be grassroots that have whipped this country into this kind of frenzy and the paranoia that okay. we're seeing right now Ahmed, just tell us is that uh, hot dog stand that location not zoned uh, for religious purposes it would have to be rezoned it has to be rezoned okay yes. so there's a difference it's, a, com okay, it's a commercially zoned area let me bring it out to our panel we happen to have two attorneys on the panel go ahead kim the it's difference right. here it's a little different but well, I think the it, right, but listen, I think it's very different. We're dealing with apples and oranges. This is not about uh, the Muslim religion. This is about tax revenue, and it's about zoning, and it's about financial dollars going to the city. If they rezone it, then they're not going to be able to get that. And if they leave it in a commercial spot, which is presently designated, then that will be a source of res revenue if they rent that Kobe, property is out. The, is that the difference here? It's the, the, in Chicago, you'd have to change the zoning to allow a, a not-for-profit well, organization? Is that what I, it is? I mean, the, the difference in here is actually what's going on in Chicago is even more insidious and is, is actually unconstitutional, although the Muslim leadership decides not to fight it. I mean, well before there were Muslims, this issue has been litigated, uh, Muslims in America, this zoning issue has been litigated over and over again, because people, for these kinds of reasons, tend not to want churches uh, or synagogues, Ahmed, but you Ahmed, can't why, discriminate. Why is CARE or why are the uh, Muslim leaders in Chicago not up in arms about this? Uh, Ron says it's more insidious than New York. Because there is a way in which you can have a conversation without having to sue each other. The two sides are talking. The perspective of the Muslim leaders is, is as follows. While it is commercially zoned, we believe that if this were to be a mosque, there's going to be traffic and congregants in the area that will be patrons of the surrounding businesses and restaurants that will help bring a boom to the business of, of the area. So in reality, it is going to help the city gain tax dollars. So, Alan. Should we not just, uh, at least be concerned about the $4.5 million that, that this 51 park might generate? I think we ought to not uh, have to give a break to any religious institution that has real estate. They should all pay taxes. Religion is a business in America. We shouldn't give, them, uh, we shouldn't give any religion a pass and let every <laughs> church, synagogue, or mosque pay property but taxes not, but, if they own property yeah, taxes. Yeah, I mean, but look, let's try to at least operate within the realm of the possible and <laughs> okay. what's legal right. in America today. <laughs> and, and the reality is government, which is what zoning is, doesn't have the right to zone out mosques or churches or synagogues, even though it's just an economic argument, because that constitutes governmental discrimination against religion f in favor of a secular purpose. If it's clear purpose. on its face, you, what you're saying is assuming that this is an attempt by the government, by the city, to zone out a religious yeah, institution. Yeah, they said that because the religious institution doesn't make enough money. We want somebody no, no, generating. No, no, it's, it's already, it's already zoned. No, they it doesn't have, matter. It doesn't matter. Would they the have purposes. the same argument and would they feel the same way if it was a Catholic church or a Protestant church? I don't know, but 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 they certainly have the same would legal argument. An, would this be it. an argument if it wasn't for this mosque in New York City? This is what it, I mean. This New York City mosque is creating all this debate about even something this silly now. Ahmed, real quickly, have, has anyone brought up the fact uh, it, it doesn't matter if it's a Muslim mosque or, or a Catholic church or, frankly, anyone who, uh, who claims to be a, a religious group? 
It isn't a Muslim issue. But, you know, my question to you is that, you know, as you talk about the Park 51 Islamic Center, it seems like you're looking for a reason to, you know, to, to prevent this thing from being built. I mean, first it's hollowed ground, Imam Faisal is a radical, now it's about generating tax dollars for the city. All I mean, which is it? You know? Oh, hold on. Oh. Right. Go ahead, Kim. One. It's all of them. I mean, any <laughs> one of them is, is proper inquiry, so that's what it is. It's all not right. one thing. You don't have to what, select one. So, yeah. last word, sir. Well, here's the question to you. Um, what makes it not hollowed ground if an Islamic center is built there, just as you have the delis and the strip clubs and the other types of businesses around the city? Muslims died on 9-11, too. It's their city, too. They can live and worship there, too. It does not take away from the fact that it's sacred ground, that Muslims are there. They're not the ones who committed 9-11. It was al-Qaeda who committed 9-11. Very good. We're going to leave it there. Thank you, Ahmed Rehab. Thank you very much.